is going up guys welcome back to the best day trading investing money management channel on YouTube now we have a very special episode today we're gonna to be showing you how to add studies to your stock chart so we're gonna take you to the computer if this is your first episode drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel our next goal is 10,000 subscribers and we're kind of there I don't know we're like 10% there or so but Let's go to the uh, computer and you're gonna learn how to add some studies to your chart. Alrighty guys, so we are up and running here on the Thinkorswim trading program. Now, a lot of people are drawn to the Thinkorswim trading program for you know a couple of reasons. The first one is the $0 commission. Just starting last week, they offered a $0 commission. So now when I purchase the stock and sell it, it doesn't cost me anything. Before, it cost me roughly you know 2.99 so it was still fairly cheap and originally it cost me seven dollars now the reason why it cost me a little cheaper was because of my account size the larger your account size is the cheaper you can get commissions but since there has been like a battle going on on which broker can offer the lowest commissions finger swim offers a zero dollar commission now but you know i have a video on that on my thoughts that will be down below so you guys can check it out here but we're gonna look at how to add studies to your graph here. Now, adding studies is one of the best things that a trader can do uh, for a variety of reasons. The first one is trend direction. The next, or uh, the second one is strength, uh, like the strength of a stock. The next one is support and resistance lines, and just a vari variety. There's thousands of studies you can add. Now, what I always add here our moving average lines as you guys can see I have one two three four the yellow one is the 200 now this light pink one here is the 90 20 and then the nine the reason why I have four is because they ought they act as support and resistance lines so when this stock comes in contact with it like such it hits it as a support and bounces up now when it comes when it comes below it this would be a beautiful short opportunity and you could ride the wave down now when it comes back in contact uh so previous previous support comes to new resistance so you know this is using it as support here so now it's going to be new resistance comes in contact with it here resistance sells off good short opportunity so these studies offer a variety of uh they, all, they often will give you trend direction, um, support and resistance, just, and a variety of others. But one of the most common questions that I get is, how do I actually add these four? Because these four are the ones you know thousands or millions of traders use. Now, it's very, very simple. All you got to do is just click up and click the studies column. Now, when you click this, it'll let it load up here. It might take a minute. Now, take... Now, the next thing you got to do is click edit studies. Once you click edit studies, you're going to see all the studies that you have up and running. So as you guys can see, we have four up. We have 200, 90, 20, and nine. So how do I add those? How do I get rid of them? Very simple. If you want to get rid of them, all you have to do here, that's, that's add one and then we can get rid of it. So we're going to look at moving average lines. So MOV, and then you're going to want to scroll down a little and then it's going to be the exponential right here so what you guys want to do is just double click this and then you guys can see it popped up in here so how do I add this to a let's say we want to add a 50 moving average line very simple we're going to click this little gear icon this is going to be the settings for this study so this is where we're going to add uh, you know the length and the color and everything like that so you're going to want to change the length right here and this is what you're going to want to change it to you're gonna to want to change it to 50 because that is the that is pretty much what the 50 means is that it takes the past 50 days and merges the closing prices together so it forms this line that acts as support and resistance and it uses it as a very good trend direction so you can see within a second where that stock is gonna go so we're gonna change this here you can either manually click it like such um, or you can literally just type it in whatever you guys want to do it doesn't really um, matter here so we're going to make sure it says 50 change the color to something that we don't have so maybe like a like a green would look good oh, that light or you know that kind of lime green here we're going to click okay 
make sure it's in. So now when we click apply, we're going to get this line. It probably will form um, in between the uh, 90 and uh, 20. So that's what we get right here. We get this green line. So now that's a, you know, because this kind of looks like a lot, you know, over five, you kind of get into the crowded space. So we don't want it. How do you get rid of it? Very simple. All you got to do is just click this X, boom, click apply, boom, it's gone. So one of the most common uh, studies that I actually put on as well, especially for swing trades, is the RSI. So now we're going to change that RSI. We're going to double click that. Now, instead of this one coming in on the price, this is going to come on lower. Now, this is going to be right by the volume tab and a variety of others if you have more on the lower. So now we're going to want to go and see the uh, settings just to make sure it's in between the 30 and the 70. So the 30 means oversold. So this has a tendency to um, for the stock to you know increase in value. And when the stock's overbought, this is when selling pressure is going to come in. And so the stock's going to decrease in price. So now you guys can change the color from overbought to oversold. We're going to change the oversold to uh, this lime green. For some reason, I feel like it looks pretty, pretty cool on it. So we're going to click OK. We're going to click apply. And now instead of coming in on the price line, it's going to come in on the lower section like so. So now when the reason why I had green is because green is pretty much when you want to buy. So it looks good when, you know, oh, green, purchase, red, sell. That's why I kind of put it like that. So once you're done, you're going to want to click OK. And then you're good, right? Well, kind of. You're going to want to go and click the Studies tab one more time. Now doing this, we're going to want to click Save Study Set. So you don't have to keep doing it for all your charts. So we're going to want to click it. And then we're, we can just call it Swing trading or day trading uh, swing trading set we're going to want to click save let it load let it save give it a few minutes uh, the screen will almost flash real quick like it just did so that means it saved so now when we click the studies so instead of going through and finding all of those moving average lines and everything like that click load study swing trading set like so so now when when you pull up another chart, when you add another one, so now when we add one more, let's put in what, what stock do you guys want to look at? Let's look at Apple, AAPL. And I just actually covered a swing trade on this uh, the other day. So that will be down below. So as you guys can see, it looks completely different from this one. You know, let alone there's the appearance that's black. This one's almost a dark gray. So now we're going to want to click the studies again. Let that load because it, it for some reason when I record it re, it takes a few minutes. Uh, it's kind of different, but click load study set, swing trading set. Click that. Now probably will take a second or two to load. Boom. Now that looks a lot better. So now to really make it look good, uh, time and sales you want to add and a couple other things you guys want to put on. You guys can. Um, we can add the color so it looks the same. All you got to do is go to this chart settings, let that load. It'll take a few seconds. Click appearance. Once you click appearance, you're going to want to click this background color and change it to this dark black. So now, boom, and then click fill up because we want the uh, green to be filled up as well. Click OK. And now all that will load up. And now that looks very, very cool. It looks good. And it's not too overpowering. Uh, we have the RSI down below. We have uh, the volume, we have the moving average lines, time and sales, and it looks clean and it looks easy. So that's pretty much how I add the studies to my charts. It's not super complicated, but I think everyone should really use them. If you don't use them, you're missing out on opportunities and it's going gonna, it's gonna to affect your trading uh, in the long term. So that is it though. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, drop a subscribe down below. Our next goal is 10,000 subscribers, 10,000. I know we can do it. Uh, that is the goal. So we'll see you guys tomorrow in another episode. Remember to always stay happy, stay positive, And I hope you guys have a good rest of the day. Take care. Hope you have a good one.